and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an opinion poll on your Facebook business page. So, in this example, I'll open up my Google Chrome and I'm logged into my Facebook business page. And on here, I'm going to click write a post just here. And then I'm going to click on these three little dots here. This will expand and show another menu. And I'm going to click poll here. And it's gonna. I need to ask a question. Normally, opinion polls, you can ask a question and then give some options. So in this case, I'm gonna ask. So I'm gonna ask which infographic makes more sense to you. Uh, here I might say option one and here I'll say option two and then it allows me to this these could have been answers to this question but I'm going to upload an actual graphic here so I can upload some images so I'm going to click attach image and here I've got two different graphics so we'll look at those in a second I'm going to click open on that one and while that one's loading I'm going to click here and select this one so here we can see the post let's just check those infographics so we see what they are and basically they're about blockchain so I'm asking the question out of these two infographics which one makes more sense to the to the person viewing them so if, no, if someone doesn't know much about blockchain or how transactions work then these two infographics are supposed to explain that so this opinion poll is basically asking the user which one makes more sense. And you can set a duration here, so you can say it can go for one week, it never ends, you can set a custom day, it can only be for one day. And you can do other things here, so you could ask a question about maybe, um, you know, something related to your business. So if you're selling shoes, for example, or you're planning on stocking some shoes or some trainers, you could ask the person which color did they prefer and you may end up stocking more red ones than yellow ones for example are those shoes or trainers so you've got to think about it a little bit and remember you're asking the users that follow you on your facebook a question related to something uh, within your business so i've done this now so all i need to do is click share now and it'll take a few seconds it's going to upload here and now you can see the opinion poll here now one thing to note, if there's any mistakes, typos or anything, you need to correct them quite quickly. Uh, otherwise, if you click here, for example, if someone does click on vote, they clicked on this side, so it's got one vote here. Um, the user can undo the vote here as well, so if I click here, it will remove that vote. And I can click here, but you can only vote once. The user can only vote once. And you'll notice that if I click here and select edit post, it won't let me edit it. Let's try that again. It says the poll can't be edited because it's already received some votes. So be quite careful and double check after you've done your opinion poll uh, just to make sure there's no typos uh, because you can't change it once it's received the vote. So I hope that all makes sense. Have an experiment. Get, get your, um, some opinion polls running on your Facebook page and see how users interact with it. Maybe you can test out some product examples. Maybe you can run a competition, ask people to vote between two different products and maybe they can win one of them. Something like that. Start some engagement. Okay, I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.